Australia, Oath Under Snow. Given how this flick is a prequel to one of the Fate vs. spin-offs, infamous for its underage lewd scenes, it already ticks a lot of boxes in the WTF category. However, it can't be denied that Shiro's final clash with the Archer-class servant known as Angelica is still pretty awesome. I mean, even if she does just look like Gilgamesh's gender-bent double, Facing off against countless incoming swords that have been sped up to the point where even his superhuman reflexes can't compete, all this Harem King can do is push on through before landing the killing blow. <laughs> Number 9 Chuya vs Dragon Bungo Stray Dog's Dead Apple You'd hope that after managing to bring down something like a dragon, Chuya would finally be over his Napoleon complex. As the armed detective agency and Port Mafia reluctantly join forces to investigate the suicides of superpowered humans, the mystery ends up turning a lot more shonen when a crimson beast ends up being summoned to wreck their shit. What's a mafioso to do? Well, in Chuya's case, he unleashes the full power of For the Tainted Sorrow, manipulating gravity to the point where he's beating the seven bells out of the wannabe Shenron with a building. Number 8 Everyone vs. Floor 100 Boss Sword Art Online The Movie Ordinal Scale If there's one thing Kirito and Asuna's cinematic debut has in spades, it's blinding action sequences. In order to free players from yet another virtual prison, one that just so happens to feed on memories, anime's most divisive power couple must take on the most challenging boss ordinal scale has to offer. Thankfully, every one of their allies are there to lend a helping hand, as well as provide a quick OP boost that allows them to finish off the final boss in spectacular fashion. Someone obviously gave them the Konami code. Number 7 Mob vs Koyama Mob Psycho 100 <laughs> And this is why you don't push nice guys to the limits, because you never know when one might snap and turn into a psychic death machine. After the sadistic Esper Koyama pummels his brother, Mob finds himself unable to stop his emotions from soaring all the way to 100%, paving the way for him to take Koyama to the cleaners. No matter how much he struggles, the cocky Esper can only watch in horror as Mob sends his face through a whole building, all the while consuming the scene in visuals that are borderline psychedelic. Number 6 Meliodas vs The Ten Commandments The Seven Deadly Sins It's a demonic family reunion of the worst kind, as the captain of the Sins takes on his old comrades in a one-man battle royale. Despite being vastly outnumbered, the Dragon Sin of Wrath manages to overcome the majority of the surviving commandments, despite getting put through the ringer. 50. This all comes to a tear-jerking end when Meliodas faces off against his sibling Estorosa, who takes advantage of his weakened state. It's not exactly what we'd call traditional brotherly love. Revenge counter! <laughs> <laughs> Number 5 
Number 5, Saitama vs Boros, One Punch Man. That is one top punching their way through a meteor by having a final fight that sees the hero getting kicked into the moon only to come back swinging and unleash a punch so powerful that we're pretty sure it split the atmosphere. It should only be used as a trump card for settling fights as quick. The world's strongest hero certainly did not disappoint when it came to his cinematic battle against the universe's greatest tyrant even as he was sent flying into the stratosphere. Most action series can only dream of generating the hype levels this fight produced, and Saitama did it in the most casual way possible. Killer move, serious series. Serious punch. Number four, Aragi vs. Kiss Shot. Kizumonogatari 3. <laughs> Decapitation has never looked so breathtaking. After regaining her full power as a vampire, as well as her sadistic desire to dine on human flesh, the only one capable of putting a stop to Kiss Shot, Acerola, Orion Heart, and a Blade is her own blood sucking servant. Not that she makes it easy for the once and future Piv, since every punch they land on one another blows a limb to kingdom come. However, thanks to their instant regenerative abilities, their battle soon turns into a bloody feast for the eyes, one that'll have you questioning just how many ways Aragi can literally lose his head. <laughs> Number 3, Naruto and Sasuke vs Momoshiki. Boruto, Naruto Next Generations. Essentially, what the final fight with Kaguya should have been, this ungodly battle against the jutsu monster that is Momoshiki was pure animated perfection, summarizing everything awesome about the Naruto franchise in but a single bout. In a bid to save the village from the younger Otsutsuki's wrath, Naruto and Sasuke demonstrate exactly how strong they've gotten since entering adulthood. Boruto may come in at the last second to win the day, but nothing can compare to seeing the former frenemies unleashing a non-stop barrage of transformations, top-tier jutsus, and numerous other life hacks. Number 2 Sieg vs Kana – Fate Apocrypha I mean, how do you describe this? This isn't so much a battle as it is animation obliteration. Unsurprisingly, the Fate Bears once again steals the show, though this time it's Best Boy Sieg stepping up to the plate against the uber-powerful Lancer of Red, the results of which lead to more explosions than we thought possible. Now fall! Kana may have numerous noble phantasms under his control, but that was never going to best Sieg. After all, he's got the undying love of ruler and rider of black behind him. I'm not gonna let you die! Number 1 Asta vs Ladros Black Clover. My magic is never giving up! As things usually go in Shonen series, we all know we're in for an absolute treat when the hero finally unleashes his powers within. After getting a kickstart from the Witch Queen, Asta literally takes Ladros to new heights with his new black form. What follows is quite possibly the most insane laser beam chase in all of anime, as the two completely devastate the landscape with the most mind-bending animation. If this battle didn't prove that Black Clover could hang with the other big shonens, then we don't know what will. Thank you, base Chadster. Stronger! Black Meteorite! 
Now you probably need to sit down and have a cup of tea after that one, but once you're done, why not leave a comment below, maybe check out one of these other videos, and subscribe to watch Mojo.